Hi, boys and girls. It's phonics time. And my friend Rashid has been asking to say hello. Hi, guys. I'm missing you. How are you? I know that a lot of you are working hard. Mrs. Gilhot's been telling me all the different things that people have been sending her. So, hi, you're going to be working on some new things today. I saw her planning the lesson. I'm going to sit back and watch. See you guys. Work hard. Okay, so he's right. I have a new essential question for you today. Here it is. It says, why do I need to read all the way across a word? Hmm. So some of us are looking at beginning sounds and we take a good guess and we know we can't do that because guessing never works. Well, once in a while it works, but usually guessing does not work. So that's why we look through the whole word. We look at the beginning sounds. Sometimes there's a blend. Sometimes it's one consonant. Sometimes it's a digraph. We have vowel sounds. We have to think, is it long? Is it short? And we look at endings. Sometimes it's an ending. Sometimes it's just the end of the word. Right now, we're looking carefully at the end of words. And in the last few lessons, we've been talking about it ending with a blend. You think that every word ends with a blend? I'm going to show you a word. And I want you to think about that. So I wrote this word. Okay, I notice a blend at the beginning. F and R, they make their own sounds. F, R. I'm going to start with short because remember, try short, try long, and then move on. F, R, E, F, R, E. Oh, so I'm noticing I have two more consonants. F, R, E, S, H. That doesn't sound right. Let me think about that. I think I have to remember that there are also digraphs. And we know that with digraphs, it's two consonants that make a new sound. An SH says SH. So now I have FR, eh, SH. Sometimes words can end with digraphs. Remember, two consonants that make a new sound. These two consonants mean one thing. They mean SH. Just like in numbers, so if you think about numbers, if you have one and a zero, it doesn't mean one zero, it means 10. It means something new. So that digraph, S-H, sh, that's what it means. All right, so that's why we look all the way through a word and don't take guesses. Okay, so I have some new amazing endings. This time they're um, digraph endings. So last time we were working on blends, this time we're going to look at some digraph endings. So here we have I-S-H, and I-S-H, I know, says I-S-H, I-S-H. So as I taught you last week, I always go through that whole alphabet. If you write it down, or if you have an al alphabet strip in front of you, or sometimes it's just right here, and that's where it is for me. So I'm thinking, all right, I start with a, that's a vowel, so I'm not going to use that, so I'm going to start with B, B, ish, mm, not a word, don't want to use it. B, seek, not a word, D, it, oh, I can use D. So I'm going to write, make sure my D goes the right way, right, guys? You know who you are who puts it backwards all the time, dish, dish. So I could keep going, A, B, C, D, E's, a vowel. F, oh, hmm, can't help myself. I'm going to do another one. F and ish, fish. Okay, I'm going to move on because I could keep going. I find this fun. Okay, the next one is A-S-H, ash, ash. Okay, can't start with a vowel. I'm going to start with a consonant, b, ash, bash. Yeah, yeah, bash is a word. Like a big party is a bash. Made sure my B went the right way. B, ash, bash. Okay. And I could keep going, but I'm going to move on. All right. The next one is A, C, K. C, K, we know, says K. It's not K. -k. That would just be silly. <laughs> so we have ack. Ack. All right. Let me see. If I do B again, B, ack. There we go. It's a word. Making sure my B goes the right way. Back. 
All right. I'd like you to later, on the next slide, you'll have these um, important endings, and I'd like you to make some of your own going through the alphabet back. All right, I have one more section that you'll be learning about the next time we meet. So today, I'm only going to give you the three instead of giving all six. The next lesson you'll have, which will probably end up you'll get next Monday, we'll have the next three most important ending digraph sounds that you're going to find in most of your reading. So in your next slide, it's going to give you these words or endings. It's going to tell you to find some books and see if you can find these in them. It's also going to tell you to try to think them up yourself, write them down, read them to yourself, read them to someone else, and write them in a sentence, just like we do at school. All right. Goodbye, Rashid. Say goodbye.